You were tasked with building the Imperial Tomb's underground palace, and the anti-theft door was paramount. You devised a method, placed two long, heavy stone beams behind the door. One would firmly brace the left door, the other would lean against the half-open right door. You quickly ran out from inside and closed the door. As the beams fell firmly into place, the two doors were securely jammed, unmoving. But transporting these large stone beams was too strenuous. So, you had craftsmen polish a giant stone pillar, placed on a slope behind the door, remove the barrier and the pillar would rumble down, getting stuck in the group, firmly wedging the door shut. Although rolling it is less effort, in the narrow underground palace passages, turning corners is still inconvenient. Is there a mechanism that's both easy to move and small and flexible? Your clever mind had a sudden flash of insight, and had craftsmen build two enormous stone balls. First, push one ball into the recess behind the door, then dig a slope shoe behind the other door. After closing the door, the stone ball suddenly rolled down, perfectly fitting into the groove. This small stone ball could easily hold back a massive door, no longer requiring strenuous effort to move it. Even a single person could set up the mechanism. Congratulations on inventing three ingenious door blocking mechanisms, the stable stone bar, the steady stone pillar, and the swift stone ball. In an era without reinforced concrete, the ancients used the simplest stones to guard not just doors, but a thousand years of dignity and peace.